In other news, the Trump administration is extending an invite to Russian President Vladimir Putin to visit the U.S. early next year. But after what many saw as disastrous, a disastrous summit between Putin and Trump, uh, President Trump in July, and intelligence agencies' confidence that Russia did meddle in the 2016 elections, some in both parties are now wondering aloud if that invite is a good idea. State Department correspondent Rich Edson has our story. Russian President Vladimir Putin may soon return to the White House. We have invited President Putin to Washington after the first of the year for uh, basically a full day of consultations. Traveling in the former Soviet state of Georgia, National Security Advisor John Bolton says officials are still discussing the schedule. Russian state media say Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov spoke today to prepare for meetings between the two presidents. If President Putin accepts the invitation, it would be his first trip to the White House since September 2005. Please. Presidents Trump and Putin last met at a July summit in Helsinki, with a press conference where President Trump discussed Russia's interference in the 2016. U.S. election. I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. That brought widespread criticism, even among senior congressional Republicans. Everyone who's dealt with Putin understands fully that the best way to deal with him is through strength. And um, I just felt like the, the president's comments made us look as a nation more like a pushover. Bolton also said the administration wants to maintain discussions with the Russian government on strategic stability, disarmament, and regional conflicts. First, the president may briefly meet again with Putin next month in Paris, while the two are there for the commemoration of the end of the First World War. Brett? Rich Edson at the State Department. Rich, thank you.